Hi, this is How to Get Your Shit Together with me, Sue Wright. Compromise. A lot of people think that compromising is failing or letting somebody else win or it's a negative. Whereas in actual fact, compromising is part and parcel of being a grown-up, I'm afraid. And when we're aiming for our big goals, often compromise has to be part of the equation. So, for example, if you're aiming for your dream home, your compromise could be that you have to rent somewhere in between time or you compromise by not having the swimming pool to begin with or something like that. But it's it's not a failure. And I think what you've got to try and flex in your brain is the ability to look at lots of different solutions and scenarios. So for me at the minute, I'm waiting to hear about some land that I would like to buy. Now, I have already run through several scenarios in my head and come up with some things to speak to the owner about, which is a compromise. You know, in an ideal scenario, I'm looking to buy a set amount of land. That may not happen. If I was him, I wouldn't want to sell all that land, to be honest. Um... So the compromise could be that I buy a little bit and rent the rest. The compromise could be that I rent the whole thing. And if I rent the whole thing, the compromise could be that I do it on a very long term um, lease, a specific farm lease. So there's I've run through the scenarios because, you know, just because you want a particular thing, it isn't going to necessarily land in your lap perfectly formed. So compromising and learning to, rather than see obstacles, to look for different ways around something is a really good thing to practice. And I say, get it out of your head that a compromise is a negative. It's not. It's you being sensible. It's you being grown up. It's you being the bigger person, if you like. It's you, um, like I say, look, using your brain, looking at different scenarios. My brain is wired such that um, I'm very strategic and I can quickly come up with lots of different solutions to a problem or to a challenge, we won't call it a problem. So I'm, I'm very good at that. You may find that it's not quite as easy, but by taking a mental step back and thinking, actually, do you know what, right, this isn't the perfect scenario, but it's a step towards the perfect scenario or it's a step of an improvement away from the current scenario. So it's trying to view it, like I say, don't view compromises as negative things. You know, get it into your mind that actually, do you know what, something good may come of this. You know, look out for those things happening in your day-to-day life that are out of the ordinary or a bit synchron... I can't say it now. Synchronicity at work where you know things happen and you think well that's a coincidence well is it or is it the universe kind of nudging and prodding you in a particular direction so it is just like I say just view things with a little bit of an air of oh is this an opportunity so rather than a compromise is it an opportunity to do something different that you hadn't considered So it is, just get it out of your head. Compromises are not negative. Sometimes we have to do them. Sometimes we have to do them and they're not very pleasant, but we have to because we're grown-ups and we have to do that sometimes. But like I say, when you're looking to get your shit together and create your dream goal, your, your ideal property, your perfect place, your perfect scenario, compromise along the way. Because if you just keep holding out for that biggie at the end, you may take longer to get there. All of these little things that crop up, that steer you slightly offline, may be opportunities that you're supposed to take. Okay? And at the end of the day, if you take it and it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter. Life is a big adventure. We've got to kind of just grab these things and run with them and not be afraid to say, no, okay, that didn't work, but it was fun while it lasted. So on that note, I hope you have a lovely day and I will speak to you anon. Bye-bye.